Hi, and welcome to my extended review, non-shaky cam version. You'll notice in front of you a computer. Let me turn it on, and I'll get in front of the camera so it'll log in, so you can see it log in, and you'll see the new Copilot PC from Dell. Now, what is a Copilot PC? Well, first of all, Copilot PC is integrated with the Copilot solution for Microsoft, their artificial intelligence solution. I'm trying really hard not to have shaky cam, so uh, hopefully this works out much better for the non-shaky cam reality. So this device, this simple laptop, very nice, easy. This is the Dell Latitude. I do like Dell's choice of silver. Um, I do have an Alienware. I have one other. I actually have three Dell computers now, which is interesting because for a long time I only had HP computers. Now I have one HP and three Dell. Um, and yes, I do have an extra computer at home. That computer is a 64 gig Windows uh, NT or what is now uh, Windows 2000 server. Uh, and I use that for building virtual machines locally just to see what it looks like, see what I can do with it. Um, Anyway, you'll notice the background is very nice. It's a nice screen. It is a touch screen, so you can touch it. Um, and things will be activated, so I can double-click there, and it will open Edge and close Edge, uh, which is very nice. And the other cool feature of this is if you come down here to the wireless section, you'll notice that it has three tabs instead of two. It has Verizon LTE. It has not connected with Bluetooth, because I don't have anything connected to it right now with Bluetooth. Uh, and then it has Wi-Fi, and it is actually, you know, Wi-Fi 6, so you get good Wi-Fi, you get uh, uh, nice structure. And then you'll notice behind the PC, and I'm going to carefully go back, there's a speaker, so I can do conference calls at work, um, and that type of information. Um, and then, of course, you have uh, really the access, which is what, what is critical to... Um, the Microsoft Copilot solution. Now, Copilot is integrated with uh, the product that's called OpenAI, uh, and OpenAI um, has two iterations. One is the chatbot, right, ChatGPT, um, and the OpenAI uh, large language model is GPT, and then they have a number at the end of it. They are currently uh, on version uh, GPT-4, O, no dot, and the O is an actual O, not a zero. But that said, Copilot is connected to the OpenAI solution, and you begin to see things like you have your search history on the left side. You have a very nice interface here. Um, I can ask ChatGPT anything, so I'll say, um, let me click the microphone button here so you can hear it. I'm going to say, go oh, kind of allow the microphone. What is the weather near me today? Well, that didn't work out too well. I'll have to check that. Obviously, didn't test that before the, uh, the video, so it didn't work. My fault, my blast. So let's do what is the... Weather. Yes, isn't it exciting? Uh, you guys get to see me typing. Uh, <laughs> I think that's probably a. Um, oh, well, hang on just a second. Apparently, I'm not able to do that uh, because I didn't have it selected. You do have to have the chat window uh, selected so that you can uh, actually type in. So you'll get to watch me type twice. What an extra benefit! Hi, I watched a podcast yesterday with some person typing, and it was really exciting. Uh, they were typing words on the screen. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, you click enter, and you'll see chat GPT will come back, or chat uh, Copilot will come back, uh, and it's telling me near New Market, Maryland, which is what I'm near. Uh, current temp is 69. Beautiful day. So it's one of those, uh, it's very nice, right? It can give you all sorts of information. It can do translations. It does actually save your um, solutions that. And that is uh, really cool. The other thing about this is this has the new Intel Snapdragon chip. Uh, so it's powerful, it's fast, and of course, that makes it really cool.
Thanks for watching my extended review, and notice less shaky cam this time.